Well, we've already covered two different parts of this series so far, filling you in on all the YouTubers and influencers that have been accused of scamming their own fans. That's why today we're back with 10 more YouTubers that are either going through a scamming controversy right now or have been accused of this in the past. So strap in, tap that like button to show some love to the channel, and with that out of the way, let's begin. Coming in at number 10, Logan Paul. If you've been following Logan Paul, then you'll know that he recently got involved with a meme crypto coin called Dink Doink. So stupid. People love it. Like, it's just fun, and it's cartoons. In South Park style, I'm a Dink Doink fan. It's the dumbest I've ever seen, and that's why I'm all in. It's comedic. It's fun. It's yeah. comedy. Now, Logan tried to make it seem like he was just proposing this big opportunity to take part in a new coin, but in reality, he has been accused by his fans of actually starting the coin to scam them. What's annoying is how transparent Logan is with this scam. If you don't know, a lot of influencers recently have been promoting these alt coins. Then what happens is their fans think that if they buy a bunch of it, they'll get rich quick because that's what most of these influencers are telling them. Then what happens? The value of this coin goes up and the influencer promoting it sells off their shares and makes a ton of money while everyone else loses their investment. What's bizarre is that Logan is acting like this coin is funny in some sense. I, I I honestly don't know how it's funny in any way. I mean, it might be funny for him once his bank account changes, but not to his fans. But little did he know, the CEO already outed him for his involvement. According to Deserto, the CEO of Dink Doink said, We might as well be honest about how this came about. I was chilling with Logan and we were like, what's the most stupidest name that we can think of for a coin? Dink Doink and it just came alive. I'm sure it did. Coming number nine, Brittany Dawn Davis. Back in 2018, this fitness influencer faced a ton of backlash after she was accused of scamming her followers into paying for a $300 diet plan, exercise program, and online coaching sessions. On top of that, she promised her fans that she would provide them with an ebook about her course, but after paying for it, many people received nothing at all. When a man actually confronted her about stealing all of this money from her followers, she actually owned up to her scamming ways and made an apology video about it. Not to him, of course. No, 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 no. At, at first, she refused to speak with this guy at all, and then much later, a vague apology was read from her phone addressing the situation. Allegedly, she still hasn't even issued full refunds after being called out by her followers. People even started a petition to stop her from promoting this bogus program and in the description it says, With over 500,000 followers primarily made up of young girls, Britney falsely promotes women empowerment on her social media platforms while continually scamming and lying to her followers, clients, and fans. Britney has scammed hundreds of women out of their hard-earned money through the fraudulent practices of her LLC, Britney Dawn Fitness. Coming in number 8, Yovana Mendoza. What's worse than listening to a vegan tell you about how great they feel is following someone that is famous for that. Yovana Mendoza, who goes by the name of Rob Vanna, on YouTube was famous for her vegan recipes and routines. She often preached how terrific the diet made her feel, which excited her legion of vegan fans. Unfortunately, she was pulling one over on those loyal followers. Her messaging is all about revealing your authentic self and urging her fans to eat fruits and veggies only. Yet when another vlogging friend posted a video of herself eating with the It was a huge fail that lost her many fans along with angering those who already don't like vegans. Coming number seven, Aggie Lau. Back in 2020, this travel influencer faced immense backlash after charging her followers nearly $500 for a crash course on how to grow their social media. Although sadly, they did not exactly get what they expected. In fact, after receiving payments from a number of people, she allegedly just disappeared, citing health issues and Wi-Fi problems. What's wild is that the people who bought into this scam said that half of her lessons on social media included having fans try to sell and promote her products and the course itself. Ah, nice little pyramid scheme we got going on here. Her story soon went viral though, and so she was left with no choice but to give people back their money. Coming number six, FaZe Clan. The whole FaZe Clan has come under fire recently for also getting involved with this recent cryptocurrency scam. More specifically though, FaZe Clan has fired Kay and suspended three other members, Jarvis, Nikan, and Tico. Back in June, it was revealed that the pro gamers promoted an altcoin called Save the Kids. A portion of the proceeds they collected from their fans was supposed to go to charity. Unfortunately, that was not the case. According to Kotaku, after a ton of people invested in this altcoin, the value suddenly dropped dramatically, leading to a lot of people losing a ton of money and then accusations were hurled at the these FaZe Clan members for engaging in a pump and dump scam. In a statement from FaZe Clan, they said, FaZe Clan had absolutely no involvement with our members' activity in the cryptocurrency space, and we strongly condemn their recent behavior. The trust and respect of our fans has been and will always be our number one priority. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Coming in number five, JayStation. With close to six million subscribers at one point, JayStation had cultivated a massive audience over the years of people that just love to get scared by his content, even if they knew it was a little bit fake. Clearly, all of his videos are pre-planned, but that didn't really seem to matter to them. At 
one point in time, people really did engage and love his content. Although as time went on, he never really grew with his viewers. The thumbnails had more clickbait, the titles were bizarre, and not too long ago, he actually faked the death of his girlfriend. Oddly enough, they had just started a channel together, but for whatever reason, he coerced her into making a video to fake her own death. People honestly had no idea if he was telling the truth until she made a video exposing him and his manipulation. And it would have been bad enough had he just made that one video, but then he monetized a video about her resurrection. It was all very bizarre, and from that, he lost a ton of subscribers. Coming in number four, Rice Gum. In his first popular video, Rice Gum criticized young social media stars who made their name on the app musically. He called out the app's biggest stars for their behavior in their musically videos, which he thought was inappropriate for their age. And this kind of stirring up drama with other YouTubers is what made people attracted to his content. Along with that, his videos ranged from diss tracks with pretty whack bars to overly sexualized thumbnails, all leading to his annoying mouth firing off about practically nothing. His mystery box scandal that immediately felt fake to anyone that's at an age of critical thinking is most likely what led to him getting a lot of hate. None of his audience members had a problem with him stirring up beef with other YouTubers because they were in a position of power. Although when you promote gambling to an rage audience and accept the check without looking into the details, that just comes off as evil and a bit of a scam. Instead of taking full responsibility for what he had done, Ricegum leans into the claims made against him. He proceeds to shift blame and snitches on other YouTubers who have made similar videos asking for them to be called out as well. When does that ever work? Never. The answer is never. Coming in number 3, Marina Joyce. When Marina was 19, she was a YouTuber that was primarily known for her quirky and upbeat personality. So fans really became concerned when all of a sudden the style of her video drastically changed. It went from that to just a bunch of weird blank stares as she often looked off camera. Viewers even alleged that they noticed a gun in the background of one of the videos and then began debating if she was being held captive. Many fans suggested that she even looked frightened and distressed and noticed what they presumed to be bruises on her arm. Plus at one point she appeared to whisper the words, help me. It got to the point where fans were convinced that she had been kidnapped or something. And so Twitter was a mess with people suffering from anxiety and panic attacks from worrying so much about Marina. Experts even called this a serious case of emotional contagion, where one person's emotions and related behavior can trigger similar emotion and behavior at other people. Although it turned out that everything was fine. Even the Enfield Police Department paid her a visit and then tweeted this out. Officers have visited YouTube user Marina Joyce. She is safe and well. Now Marina tried to act like all of this was just crazy speculation from her fans, but I think she knew exactly what she was doing. You see, this publicity stunt led to even more views on her channel and now she has over 2 million subscribers. So you do the math. Coming in number 2, Trevor Martin and Tom Castle. Back in 2016, two major Counter-Strike players tried to scam their own fans with a gambling site that they pretended was just something that they had stumbled across. You know, similar to Logan Paul and the Dinktoin coin. These two gamers promoted a Counter-Strike gambling website and then acted like they didn't create the website themselves. This gambling site allowed users 13 and up to trade and gamble on weapon skins for actual money. In most of their videos, these two were heavily promoting the website and would make these fake celebration videos acting like they had just won massive prizes on their own site. Which of course triggered FOMO in their fans and so they tried to also gamble on the website. Both of them denied any wrongdoing and then tried to say that their involvement with the company had always been on the public record. Oh, so you were just knowingly lying to your fans about stumbling across the gambling site. Okay. Trevor would later admit, I created the site. I wanted to build something awesome for other people to enjoy and I played on it. Obviously on my end, me playing on Lotto rather than other sites gives me an advantage because it promotes my own site, but it is not immoral. There is nothing wrong with it. I am 100% honest. Last but certainly least our number one spot, Sam and Nia Raider. Okay, now this last one is pretty messed up and again, I want to be clear that this is simply accusations from fans of these two that I have read online. Back in 2015, these two became brief YouTube stars when their video called Husband Shocks Wife with Pregnancy announcement quickly went viral. The viewers really loved the emotional yet feel good clip. However, three days later, they revealed that Nia had actually lost the baby after suffering from a miscarriage. This was all explained in a video called Our Baby Had a Heartbeat. And the couple explained that while they were saddened by the loss, they were going to seek comfort through their faith in God. Unfortunately, not even God could save them from the backlash they received after the couple attributed their rise in subscribers to the recent miscarriage which led viewers to question the legitimacy of what they were being told. In the tweet they said, Our tiny baby brought 10 million views to her video and 100,000 new people into our lives. She turned our life around and brought us closer together. Then to make things even weirder, Sam was exposed as being one of the many men who had signed up for the website called Ashley Madison. That's the one where people arrange a meeting to cheat on their spouses. Either way guys, that has been the top 10 YouTubers accused of scamming their fans part 3, but before we get out of here, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled, Doctors Warn Against TikTok Trend of Putting Garlic Up Your Nose. Princess Blue Diamond Winged Wolf says, I respect older people for hating the internet a bit more. <laughs> yeah, now that TikTok came along, we're like, ah, I see what you're saying. I get it. I get it. Dexter 
Sullivan says, I say let them do it. It's called survival of the fittest. Savage, Dexter, but I would expect no less from that name. Wolf says, you know, in recent years, doctors really have to warn people about the weirdest things. Yet, yeah, I mean, at least they're doing something. Kia VOZ says, this is why aliens won't visit us. Uh, one of the many reasons, I think. Vinny Borden says, at least it will keep away the vampires. <laughs> There's that glass half full mentality. I love it, Vinny. But that has been today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try. Thank <laughs> you.